Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. You know, I think today, why don't we just, you know, we could play as the pilot. Let's play as the pilot. We haven't done a cool pilot run recently. Lately we've been, you know, I actually want the normal pilot pistol. I think it's got a little bit more style to it. But uh, I was thinking about doing a paradox run because with the paradox runs, you always just get a random start, but Let's go for the character that has the absolute worst starting pistol, shall we? And I'm not going for the Cursed Shrine. I like having the ability to pick up any item that drops on the run without having to worry about min-maxing the curse stats. To unlock the trials. So Two Fault in chat is asking, how do you unlock the Risk of Rain Returns trials? The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> Because I only did it once, and it was like, I don't know, I died? I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun with Risk of Rain Returns. It's a absolutely wonderful return to the 2D form that was uh, Hapu Games and their Risk of Rain and Risk of Rain, Ret uh, Risk of Rain 2, I should say. A lot of people have positive and negative things to say about Risk of Rain 2, because it is a transfer from 2D to 3D space, and it's a, a change in art style. You have that third-person over-the-shoulder camera instead of just having the isometric camera that you would get in 2D. I think that 2 is better from a gameplay standpoint than 1, but I think Returns is so substantially better than the original Risk of Rain Returns that it might even be better than 2 in my opinion right now. But maybe that is just a... a... Well, what is it? There's probably like some paradox of bias of the new thing is always better. That's kind of... that's kind of how I feel about it, potentially. That maybe because it's new, everyone's like, oh, this is the best thing ever, but everyone said that about Starfield, and look at where it is now. It's mixed reviews on Steam. <laughs> and everyone was gushing and praising over it on release. So who knows? Maybe that's happening here to an extent. My volume was turned up. I gotta turn it down. No wonder it was, it seemed a little bit loud. Recency bias, there you go, thank you. I knew it had a name, I just forgot what it was. It's like me and uh, all of the R-star characters in Nuclear Throne. Rebel, Rogue, I don't remember, remember which one's which. They just are. We're gonna use our lockpick because we're the pilot. We get the ability to open up chests 50% of the time, and then after, Reese's bias, says Nambi. You can have the Reese's, okay? I'll have the, the Snickers and the Milky Ways. I'm not a big peanut butter and chocolate fan. I know that Snickers has peanuts in it, but that's different. That's peanuts, not peanut butter. I like the crunch that you get out of a peanut, but the peanut butter mixed with the chocolate just makes it all have, a, have like a weird consistency to it. I don't know. Sounds delicious though. I would love some chocolate at some point. <laughs> uh, we can open chests as the pilots. We have a bad pistol. We have better shops. They're cheaper. We can hold two active items. That's our run. Ooh. And we've got lovely lady who can take our health and give us a lot of money in return. I would love the ability to get like a gun. Friday Night says, since I've been playing a lot of Risk of Rain 2, I can definitely say that the 2D fits the game more. I mean, the thing is, for, for Risk of Rain, I, I actually think that 3D is still the way to go. I think that 3D is still better because you get an extra dimension to dodge in. But I think that... Uh, I don't know what I think, really. The Returns is still absolutely beautiful and wonderful, but my heart still longs for the third dimensional dodge roll, you know? We are going to, I'm just gonna buy the Tangler. We have enough money. I wanna have a good gun. I 
can't say no to a mountain shrine, says Connie. I, uh, I do enjoy that they took a lot of the kind of weird little mechanics in Risk of Rain 2 and added them to Risk of Rain Returns, because some of them are nice to see and nice to have. But anyways, it's a good game. If you haven't checked it out yourself, I got a few videos up on YouTube regarding it. Um, I played a little bit of multiplayer with Mother of Zerg the other day. I also made the mistake of not correctly capturing the microphone audio. Or actually, rather, it's, it was the game audio. I forgot to correctly record. So he might be a little bit quiet, but that's okay. I still had a great time playing with him. You know what I like? I, I think that Risk of Rain Returns, maybe for me, plays a little bit better as a solo game, but I, I think that might just be because in Risk of Rain 2, there's so much more space and you can get kind of lost and you can spread out more. But I don't know. I'm all for playing anything. I'll play Risk of Rain Returns. I'll play Endless Dungeon. I'll play, what's another multiplayer game that I played in the past? Look, at some point we gotta play some uh, Nuclear Throne together. That'll be fun. Buy the key, I'm actually gonna go a little bit lower on health. Because I want the cash. Oh, hold on, oh, oh, hold on. Got it. Got the ban. Moobler's not gonna get the chat ban before I do today, no, no, no. Um, we've not found the secret room, so why don't we check for that real quick. It uh, probably is left of the shop, if I had to guess. Mm. Exit room? Nope, all right, I'm not gonna look anymore. I did my due diligence to a small degree. Mr. Man Man Clan, welcome. Gungeon, Gungeon. I've been having a fun time coming back to Gungeon. It's like uh, slipping into a, a warm, warm pair of sandals. Why sandals and not slippers? I don't know. <laughs> Sandal or slippers would probably be a little bit more comfortable, but I will take this. One of these days, we, what we really have to do is we have to go back to BCDD20T. Exactly two people in chat have been clamoring me to do that. And if they want it, well, I gotta do it. Sandals, but with socks, is Friday night. Now that does, now that does sound comfortable. Man says I beat this game with the Rogue special. Nice. I, uh, with items or without items? I tried to do it and uh, I think I died on the dragon and then I didn't attempt it again because I was like, you know what? This actually makes the game take a lot longer. <laughs> and as good of a game as it is, I hate when a run takes two hours and it's not even a, a loop. Why did I walk into that one? That was kind of dumb. Gotta be a little careful here, because I am a little bit low on HP. I wish I didn't walk into the bullet, but, you know, that's on me. You know, I'll grab uh, I'll grab an armor to compensate. With items. That would make it a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Zyomkin, welcome as well. How are you doing? Dun, 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 dun. I mean, we have the lockpick still, so I think... Oh, but that's not locked. Mm. I'll lockpick. I regret everything. But at some point, we gotta, you know, use these lockpicks while we, st while we still try and stockpile the keys, so... I stand by it. Okay, I gotta stop, okay, thank you for the HP, but I gotta stop walking directly into every bullet. 
it's been a bit of a poor showing so far. I'm supposed to be the Gungeon guy, right? It'd be embarrassing to die as the freaking pilot, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who know though? Who, who know though? Who knows though? Hope everyone's had a good week. It is the end of the weekend, unfortunately. I've had a decent week. Been playing a lot of fun games. I joked, but actually, I, I would like to at some You son of a gun. That was not LJ, that was a sub. Thank you very much, Cartaginian. Welcome back. Welcome to you, too. I joke, but at some point, I do want to play more Endless Dungeon. I'm kind of just waiting for the game to maybe get more updates, but they seem to be a little bit slow coming. It, it's funny to me when you think about games that I think people have been really looking forward to, Risk of Rain Remake and uh, Endless Dungeon. At least I was definitely looking forward to both of those. The Endless Dungeon sequel was relatively poorly reviewed, poorly received, and it had quite a lot of bugs and issues on release. I saw absolutely none of that from Risk of Rain Returns. Everyone I've that I've talked to that has played the game has absolutely loved it. And after playing it myself, I think I have to agree with them that the game is phenomenal. Just goes to show you how, uh, you know, different developers can have different results with their IP. It's a bit, it, yeah, Returns is an exceptionally polished and well thought out piece of software. And this dungeon uh, crashes when you try to play it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like it is, it is the truth. You can tell that they put a lot of care and effort into it. But then again, you know, Risk of Rain One, it was a, I, I believe, a two-person project. Two people made that game while they were like taking a game development class or some something like that. I don't actually remember the full story behind it, but like it's Im it's exceptionally impressive for what they did with it. And now they've got their own freaking like studio, you know. Please pool says, "Did you ever play Dungeon of the Endless?" Not on stream, but I did play a lot of it on my own over the years. I have I have completed many of runs of Dungeon of the Endless. Abe, start posting more Gungeon runs to YouTube. I'm posting one a day. <laughs> if I post, if I posted them any faster, there wouldn't be any, because they'd all be posted. You know, they, they're coming. You want another video? Wait 24 hours. <sighs> all right. We finally have enough HP where we're not just gonna die immediately. My man says, I'm a big fan of Dungeon of the Endless. I'm not mad about the sequel, it's just so different that I don't feel any attachment to it. The the style of, of everything has changed, and I'm not just talking about the art. The style of, like, the storytelling has definitely changed to a large degree as well. But I think the big thing is that it's just not as polished. You know, Endless Dungeon is, is unfortunately kind of just riddled with bugs and issues. Which, again, is exceptionally unfortunate, because I actually think that D Endless Dungeon is a really, really good game. It's just that when I, when we play in multiplayer and the final boss is completely broken for one player, kind of, kind of sucks the enjoyment out of it a little bit, you know? But hopefully they can, uh, they can, revise it, revitalize it, rebuild it. There's a lot of games out there that had very kind of poor receptions and they built back their reputation. Didn't uh, Rainbow Six Siege be like, wasn't that like incredibly poorly received or something and then it turned around to be like one of the most watched like esports games at this point? 
That's the example I like to use because it's the one that I I remember but also don't understand because I always thought that Rainbow Six Siege was very good even on release, but maybe not? I don't know. If it wasn't, you know, shows what I know about games, right? Shows you that Abe Clancy has his uh, finger on the pulse of the nation. The game just gave you runic dome for the endless dungeon fight where you couldn't see the boss's attack, says Connie. Well, that would help if I ever fought the boss before, but you know, you're not gonna take runic dome your first uh, dome your first pick. It's like your first time playing Slay the Spy, or you might make the mistake of taking uh, runic pyramid along with. Sneko Eye thinking, oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> oh, ye summer child. What's our synergy? Bees. Nice. This bull says I suck at FPSs. Me as well. Um, I also definitely suck at FPS games. Rip. Rip to us. Rip to those of us who like the concept of playing an FPS, but actually don't like playing it because we're bad at it. Like PUBG, I loved the idea of PUBG and I really wanted to be good at it, but man, I just, I let my teammates down far too often in combat. We get into an engagement and I'm like, what's the button to sprint? I'm so sorry, uh, but I am gonna call out Joe. Um, because he uh, he really liked to play Ring of Elysium when it was new-er. And uh, I remember there was one time in that game I had a, I, I picked up a, a weapon off of a fallen enemy. The immediate next engagement that we got in, I fired one bullet and my gun jammed and it was because I didn't check to see if it was full automatic. It was in single fire mode when I picked it up. And I just, I just, I want to apologize, Joe. I'm sorry, I let you down on that one. It wasn't me, it was the gun. This, it was, it hadn't, this has never happened before, I swear. I wouldn't mind playing games like that again at some point. If anyone out there wants to play and uh, wants a very bad teammate and wants to play another one of those you know, battle royale, easy shooter games, you know, hit me up, let me know. Dun, 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 dun. Connie says I played a lot of Rainbow Six Siege years ago, was pretty good at it, lost interest. RoboQuest is an FPS roguelite, says Maman. I've heard of that one. Um, Was it Zerg who was playing a lot of that recently, I think? told me that uh, that he actually was really enjoying it. Get out of here. I think so. All right, we got HP. We got another chest. I've got a key for it. It's HP. All right, well, this is pretty much uh, terrible, but that's okay. Gunplay of RoboQuest is very well done. Anytime someone talks about the gunplay being fun in a game, I think I immediately think of BPM. I absolutely love and adore that game and I just want to play more of it. It's hard to play and commentate at the same time. It might be a little hard to watch, but it is so much fun to shoot to the beat. And I said it before, I'll say it again. I much prefer that to Metal Hellsinger. The music just didn't really follow the beat as well as it needed to. I would get lost. Whenever lyrics were happening, the lyrics would be off beat, and so I would get confused. Got these uh, two guan stones here. Actually, one of them is a uh, extra blank per floor. So we actually get four blanks per floor now, huh? Where did that? When did we get the uh, the blank orbital? <laughs> the white guan stone, as it is called. I feel like I blinked and I missed it.
And he says, BPM is great, but the cellar is weird. It feels like you always want to go there if you have the key. You mean the Asgard Crypt? Yes. It is a very good place to go in BPM bullets per minute if you have the capability to do so. I guess we'll buy the rat key since we have the cash for it. We're going down to the Abbey. There is nothing that I want to munch. Our guns are great. So let's go. And we just picked up the stinger, it looks like. The Nor, welcome as well. How are you doing? But I like, uh, I like good gunplay. So if people keep recommending RoboQuest to me, I'll see if maybe I can, I can take a look at that game. It does have a demo, which is fantastic. It makes it way more likely that I'm actually gonna play it. Mr. Man says, hey, have you ever played Souls games? Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Uh, what the, wait, a, a Soul game? Uh, there was Soul in, uh, in Hollow Knight. That's what you use to heal with. Do you mean that? Has he played a Souls game? Well, it's not like I, I play many Souls games, especially not lately. <laughs> I've only, I, I've done, I've done three on stream, right? I've done Dark Souls 3, the one randomizer, Dark Souls 1 randomizer was a lot of fun, and then I played Elden Ring. And of course, on my own time, I have played uh, Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne. Mr. Man says I'm a Dark Souls 1 fan. <sighs> you know, Dark Souls 1 is a good game, uh, I don't think it's necessarily aged all that well. Like, it it felt very old playing it. Some of the mechanics, some of the, the movement and the animations and things just didn't really feel as polished as I come to expect, but I think that's just because we are, we being gamers have gotten very um, pampered with good Souls games. And now everything's a Souls game. Souls game, Souls game, Souls game. It's like, I don't need a Souls game. The worst offender, I still say, is uh, Salt and Sanctuary, which is not a Souls game, it is Souls. It, it is the essence of every Souls game, uh, but changed so that they don't get sued. And that just, that was enough for me. I was like, I, nah, nah, I'm done. I, I don't need to play this. Oh yeah, Sekiro as well. I guess that's Souls-like. Definitely has way more of a focus, I think, on uh, on storytelling compared to the other Souls games, where you don't know what the hell the story is. The ancient god something something, fire something something. I've not played Remnant, but I kind of wanted to, but I never did. I never had anyone to play it with, even if I did play it. And then I never played Remnant 2. That came out earlier this year, right? Yeah. I haven't played it. Wouldn't mind it. What makes a game of Souls like? Uh, you know, this is, you could ask like a, you know, a, jur a games journalist or a games, games reviewer, they would have like a notepad filled with their criteria for Souls games. It's kind of a little bit open-ended, but when I think of Souls games, I think of a few specific things. I think of, nice, let's see what this is first. Ooh, I do like this if we get synergies. I think of non-direct storytelling where there are hints throughout the world, maybe uh, lore entries to read, uh, but you're never like explicitly told exactly what's happening. You, you explore the world and learn about it as you go. So uh, Hollow Knight, is a good example of this because when you start the game, you're a character, you go to a village, they talk about people entering the well and then getting lost, you start to learn about what's happening as you go. That's a, that's a good Souls story. I also think about uh, 
difficult combat, difficult enemies. Usually the enemies respawn when you rest. Usually you have heals. Usually the heals come back to you. Uh, and then for the other like criteria for a Souls game, and this one is a little bit more open-ended, but generally I think of like a dark, dreary, oppressive atmosphere. And again, Hollow Knight and, and Dark Souls games tend to fit that bill pretty well. Death and decay usually is like a, a, a main theme, but that's not always the case. You know, I would classify, uh, believe it or not, Tunic as being kind of a Souls combat game. You have the similar story, which is that you don't quite understand what's happening. You just kind of spawn in the world. You have to start fighting things. You have souls -y combat. You have heals. They recharge when you rest. Enemies respawn when you rest. But it's all like light and kind of a, a bright atmosphere to everything. I, d I don't actually know the story to that game, so maybe it does have to do with like death and decay for all I know. But uh, that's kind of what I think of. Dodge rolling is optional, but it helps for it to be a Souls-like, but it doesn't have to have dodge rolling. I mean, Hollow Knight doesn't have a dodge roll. I'm just gonna open this. It's a gun. The main thing people use to tag Souls, says S, or says Nambi, is can you roll, is combat unfair, does nobody tell you any of the story? It's Souls. <laughs> Just like a uh, roguelite, you know, if, do you die and restart when you die? Oh, then it's a roguelite, right? Metroidvania? I mean, it could be a Metroidvania Soulsy, you know? Or it could, you know, it could be a Metroidvania. You know, the genres, they can be melded to suit your interests. They can be, uh, games can be more than one thing. Skeleton team, welcome. How are you doing? Zyomkin says he played it. Uh, what are you asking about, Zyomkin? About what I what did I play? One of the Souls games? Skeleton team says I rolled a wheel and picked Gunslinger Rainbow Run. It was pretty fun. I just decided to play the pilot because I figured, why not? I haven't played him recently. Although you could say the same about literally any uh, character in this game. I haven't played him recently. Okay, the flame pickup here, kind of making it a little bit annoying to fight this guy, but that's okay. Just dodge, forehead. I like the explosives, though. I like being able to break his bullets. Thank you, Guanstone, on that one. So close. If I dodged to the right, we would have been fine. I dodged down right instead. Dun, 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 dun. We want ammo. And we're just gonna eat the meat bun. Do we have enough for this? Nope. That's okay. Oh, there's a freaking chest. I always forget about the chest, man. Master of Unlocking. Jill Sandwich, I get the reference. I played Resident Evil. <laughs> All right, let's go. Elden Ring and Dark Souls 2 are kind of bright. I mean, yeah, the tree is bright in Elden Ring, but that doesn't mean that the, the story and the world are bright. Death is still a prominent theme in those games.
Lose your currency when you die. I guess that's another one. A little optional, though. Shelly emote very Gungeon dedicated. I do like my Shelly emote. Hey, Zerg, welcome. How are you doing today? Zerg, was it you who, were who was telling me about RoboQuest? Because now I got someone else saying, Abe, play RoboQuest, so now I gotta think about it. It has a demo. So I'm more likely to play it since it has a demo. Abe, do you usually play turbo in Gungeon or normal speed? I only play turbo at this point. If if Abe Clancy is playing Enter the Gungeon, he's playing on turbo. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another little classic Abe duh here. That should be an emo, Abe duh. In my head, I was like, wow, why am I doing so much damage? Anyone, does anyone want to explain to me why I'm doing so much damage? Go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll take this forehead moment. Herbal Quest recently got a 1.0 update. Then I'll, I should definitely check it out. Come on, just reload. Maxwell says, Abe, can I pay you to play a game? Honestly, you got my attention, Maxwell. I'll do it for a billion dollars. And if you want to haggle, yeah, send me a send me an, a message on Discord or something. <laughs> Ellington team says membrane, one of my favorite weapons. Membrane is really solid. It's just uh, it's just good damage. Good damage. Thank you. Atomic crops first, says Friday night. Oh my god. Look, one day I will have to play that game. Connie says normal mode might actually be a challenge run for you. I, I did that before in uh in Gungeon, back when I was playing more of this game, I did a, I just want to play normal speed. And then it, it ended up, I think, being, for me personally, just like a little harder than normal because I'm so used to the speed. But it, it was still a good run. I think we did win it pretty handily. But then I started to re recognize some of the differences between the modes and some of the bugs between the modes, like where the uh, gun cultists are a lot slower in turbo mode and hence a lot easier in turbo mode. I realized in turbo mode, oh my god, the gun cultists, they're hard. <laughs> Who would have thought? Make sure to do that before I forget. It's on the poll today, let's just get Atomicrops. I probably won't do it today. Zerg says, I just got home for Thanksgiving break. So now you have nothing to do for the next, like, week, right? Hope you enjoy whatever your uh, your break is. We should play some games at some point. <laughs> Connie says, Darkest Dungeon 2 needs to get on the poll soon, at least when the DLC comes out. Connie, when is the next Darkest Dungeon DLC? Because I I would be convinced. I could be convinced. December. Okay. December, December, the month of past November. Let's do. Let's just do Hexagon, probably. Actually, the fire works pretty well here, because my dude, Mr. Cannonball, 
can get burned by it. He doesn't technically fly. Oh, that was so bad. Just like a, a millisecond off. It's the second run in a row, I think, where we got the meat bun and then just immediately bricked it. Uh, Architrad says, Noita has a new beta branch. Yoink! Sorry, yoink! Um... I'm probably not gonna play Noida. I'm Noided out, man. It's a good game, but I just, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Ration airstrike shell. Nah, we don't need those. Seagus Jr. says, all I want for Christmas is Darkest Dungeon 2. Connie says, anywhere between 11 and 42 days. Mark it on your calendar, folks. Somewhere between 11 and 42 days. The Crusader arrives. Place Bull says, maybe Hades 2 next year. That was fun to watch. Is that is that on the the release schedule for next year? Hades 2? I, well, hold on, actually, we need to talk for a second. Well, okay, before we talk, we gotta look at this real quick. I think it's up, up, right, right, down, up. Up, up, right, right, down, up, okay. Yeah, Connie knows exactly what I wanna talk about. Is it Hades 2 is released next year, or Hades 2 is in early access next year? And it sounds like it's Hades 2 is in early access next year, which is a little bit less interesting. And if it goes into early access, I'm probably gonna ignore it until it gets released because I really wanna like the game and I don't wanna get burned out in the early, uh, in the early days by just playing it in early access when it kind of, when it by definition sucks the most, right? Like by definition, that is the point in the game's development when it is gonna be the least done. I gotta look, I can't remember. Is it down up or up down? Down up. Down. Up. Oh, we uh, screwed the pooch on this one. Names or uh, Amanomicon? Crap. Up, up, right, right, down, up. I must have went right once. So, hold on, I gotta look. I can't, I can't remember it. Up, up, right, right, down, up. Okay, up, that was one up. Up, that's two up. Right, right. Down. And then up. Hey, look at that. Nice, okay, we recovered. Sour Lemonade says, finally a more relatable run with no stupid streamer luck. Well, hopefully I end up getting one HP by the end of this run. 
You heard me. He's not gonna jump rope, he's gonna shoot at this point. Oh, he got me. I thought my speed ups from the spice could let me maneuver fast enough. Friday night says I just blew up the moon in risk of rain. Am I a good gamer now? You're the best. Or because I didn't know you could recover. You can make one mistake, I think. I'm not entirely certain though, I never make mistakes. Sour eliminates to beat the rat for the first time today, no finished gun or on rainbow modes. Nice. How was your punch out? I did this incorrectly, but that's fine. I'm off by one cycle of circles, but we'll still have enough time. And let's go. I need a better weapon. Um, yeah, we can use RPGs. a slow fight since I lost my meat bun. We don't have 10 out of 10 weapons, but we got enough to get the job done pretty easily. Just gonna take time. Good break. Oh, on my side. That's gonna be a missile drop. Let's move. Good stuff. Zerg says I'm excited for Hades, Silk Song. Hope it comes out soonish. That's one where I wonder if they're just gonna drop it with like no fanfare at all. Because that seems to be what they're what they're aiming for. My understanding is that Team Cherry is very much like every time we put out a release date or any information, everyone gets way too excited over it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna be very silent about the whole matter. That's the way to do it. And he says, I still need to play Hollow Knight. Steam it keeps on pushing me to play it. I mean, I can absolutely recommend it. It is a fantastic game. So how's this for stupid streamer luck? <laughs> I thought we, boy, I thought we got four of them. I only counted three. Well, one, two, three. We got a dodge roll up. We're gonna be dropping this next floor. We can, actually we can probably drop it on this floor. And we're good to go. I don't want to rush them at all, I just hope it's good. I mean, I imagine it'll be great. They seem to know what they're doing. I come at it more from the perspective of not, I want the game to be done and good, but more from the perspective of, I sh I'm sure they don't want the diehard fans 
to yell at them that it's not done. <laughs> so they're just being very silent about it. They're like, it'll get done. Don't worry about it. Stop fretting. And I, the thing is, I can very much respect that. I can very much respect the shut up so that no one complains. Come on. Come on. One. A two. A three. Let's dump the, uh, let, let's just dump the dodge up ring. I don't care. Okay. And he says, feeding the rat to the serpent is kind of messed up. I mean, that's just nature, man. The rats and the snakes, they're gonna be here long after we're all gone. Also, who needs a meat bun bonus? We got spice. Why does he even have that dragon? I find the whole dragon thing to be very interesting because not only does the rat have, what, uh, the child of the dragon, the dragon just squishes him at the end. What the hell's up with that? That's not a good parent. That's not a good dragon parent. All right, we can go faster. Come on, come on. Thank you. That's pretty good. And we'll take this, and we'll eat this, and we'll take this. Maybe it's the child, maybe it's the spawn of someone else and the dragon is just protecting his own bloodline. He's, uh, he's doing the very, like, classic thing of, uh, there's a, He's doing the opposite of it, actually. Of there's, uh, you commit a massacre because you're like the the local warlord. You leave one child hiding under a a upturned wagon, and you say you will remember this for the rest of your life, kid. And then at the end, he usurps you, and he's like, "Do you remember?" And you're like, "No, for me it was Tuesday." He's just taking care of the problem early. He's a smart dragon. I gotcha. I guess I have to kill you, huh? Hey, Jolano, welcome. How are you doing? Didn't they say anything about how they were handling Silk Song after Unity? Uh, is Silk is uh, well. First of all, is Hollow Knight made in Unity? Second of all, they probably were just a staying silent, which was the good decision, and then b now it doesn't matter because they're not going to be obligated to use the new TOS as long as they stay on their current Unity version or Unity like main version. That was weird. It is Unity. Well, I mean, I'm sure they'll figure it out. They're smart people. I assume. Hello. Hello, meat. Yes. Get them, bees. Can't wait for Dune 2, says Connie. Is it... Uh, am I alone in thinking that 
Dune is a little overrated. Maybe not like the whole story, but like, I don't know. It, it, there's 18 different versions of Dune. Why, is it in the public domain? Create your own damn IP, you know? Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a very interesting item you've got there. The vein. What is the phrase? It's a very wonderful item you have there in that Roderick cube. Didn't watch the movie, books are great, says Joel. More, I just think that it's all overdone. And every time it gets remade, there's all they make a big deal about it. They're like, coming soon, Frank Herbert's Dune, like you've never seen it before. Just the license holders that have been pretty open with it, I guess. Yes, you are. I'm weird. I mean, that's understandable. I watched the um, the new quote unquote version of Dune, the one that came out like what was it like probably a year ago at this point, just because it was it was on TV. Someone else was watching it. I think it was on like streaming services, right? Like net was it Netflix or Hulu? I think it was Hulu. I was like, yeah, it's all right. They're telling a story. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know where the story is going to be going. <laughs> How's this for a, a book franchise that has not been turned into a movie? Foundation. I don't think that's ever been made into a film. Probably wouldn't make a very good film, but at least it would be unique. Dodge roll is so fast. Bomb um, James, welcome. I just got the trilogy so good. I've got him in a in a box somewhere. I've read them before, they're pretty alright. In fact, I would say they're pretty good. Oh, you're right, Apple! Apple was doing a series. I forgot. It's bad though, really? I, uh, I haven't seen it, so I don't know if it's bad or not. All right, we can we can do some stuff with this. Uh, I'm gonna drop the sorry. I'm gonna drop the bomb. We're gonna no no no. We we gotta drop lament. Drop lament. We're gonna pick this up. We are going to go here, and we're gonna set, oh no, this is not where we wanna go. We wanna go here, and then we want to sell this weapon we just picked up, which is F, and then we wanna go back, and then honestly, we're just gonna sell the bomb. We gotta, we gotta make some inventory space here, so Yuck that into the pit. No, nope. all right, doesn't get thrown. Only items dropped from the map get thrown. Pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> this doesn't get sold. Uh, we can go. We can pick this up again. And what's our what's our curse? Are we able to to eat eat some spice here? I'll eat one. Okay, good. Um, we want to buy as much HP as possible, and then, is there an item here? Oh yeah, the ticket. Okay, we'll, we'll get the ticket. Um, but I think, well, we can hold it. Okay, yeah, we'll hold it. We good? I think we're good. We, we have everything that we need. Um, 
So is there anything that we want to get rid of? Munch, etc. We want a beam weapon. I will get rid of the betrayer shield. And I'll get rid of the plunger. We get a blooper. Honestly, a, a knockback weapon. Which is how I think about this. That's not that bad. I'll take it. And we're already going to have zero HP after this, so we're just going to sell some stuff. We're going to sell the... Do we want the cop to die? I, d I think we don't want the cop at all. Sorry, copper. Uh, we're going to have no HP, so I'm going to drop this. We have plenty of keys. I'm just going to keep the hat. Drop this. All right. Big Win X, welcome. Eat all the spice, it'll make the run more interesting. We're gonna eat the spice, I just need a minute. I need to make sure I'm not getting uh, a little bit too spiced up here. Really what I want is I want to get more um, items out of Lament, and then when I get enough curse at LJ spawns, then I'll dump it. But we'll see. It's a baboon! Zekas Jr. says, is the ticket any good? The ticket is a really good item if it's early and you're fighting a boss. The ticket is uh, exceptional at fighting bosses. It literally summons a boss to fight the boss. So it's, uh, it's quite good, quite good. ID, IDPD ass shotgun there says pixely. What, the the enemies we were fighting or my current uh, blooper gun? Okay, we're at one. Let's see if I can remember this time. Did we not just have a freaking, uh, I was gonna say plutonium hunger. <laughs> Someone said IDPD. Did we not just have a freaking box run recently? Now we got another one, I guess. After 10 curse, it doesn't matter that you get more. Well, yes and no, because there are still some changes that are made after 10 curse, but for the most part, yes. In general, it doesn't matter. Um, I just don't want LJ to spawn. I, I did LJ last run, you know? Granted, that was not a spice run, but it was a robot run. Thank you, Guanstones, again. There it is. If only these missiles were heat seeking. Look, at least we get bees out of the misses, right? I'm just gonna blank. Uh, we should get a payout out of the next lament. Well, we did get a payout out of the next lament, didn't we? Oh my god. 
Hey, that that spice didn't have any curse associated with it. It was a free spice play. Let's go. It's freaking game, man. What the heck? Least surprising payouts ever. <laughs> uh, all right. Sour Lemonade says, Abe, you keep clickbaiting your videos as luckiest run ever, but what was your actual luckiest run ever? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't keep clickbaiting them. I did it once, okay? They're back up to the normal titles. <laughs> I'm not that kind of YouTuber, but I gotta be honest. I think that might have been my luckiest run ever. How else, how else would you describe literally coming back to enter the gungeon after not playing for nine months, your first run has cloned the rat fight 20 floors and random Cormoran. Oh, and you get a weapon that can one-shot bosses with duct tape. What would you call that if not a lucky run? Now, best run, I don't know, because I've had some pretty good runs, but lucky run, quite possibly, yes. Like, click clickbaiting at least a single video is an actual checklist of stuff to do as a streamer. <laughs> I've done it a couple of times. I've done it with other Gungeon runs, uh, and I've done it with Slay the Spire when I had a run that was a deck of like six Meteor Strikes. No, Bludgeons, it was Bludgeons. I don't want to mislead anyone here. Poor guy. His arms still exist, so they keep sending out bees. Is it clickbaiting if it's actually some special run? Yes, but I don't mind. Regular shotgun strong for a D tier gun to sour lemonade. Yep, it is, but that's okay. You can have good guns. It's simple, which is why it's D tier because it's just a boring ass shotgun. Zyomkin says, damn it, I was typing so fast in fury to correct you, it was in fact bludgeons. <laughs> I, said, I said meteor strike because the last run I played as defect was, um, I had a bunch of meteor strikes in the deck. And so that was like fresh on the brain. But no, yeah, it was it was in fact bludgeon. Bludgeon the bludgeon. Do you feel like clickbait videos actually get more views? Unfortunately, yes. I have been reminded of that fact actually relatively recently by someone. Honestly, the reason why I don't do any of that because it's just a lot of effort. And of course it also, you know, takes away from the general experience, I think, if you're focused on the clickbait as opposed to just, you know, playing the game and having fun. What's up, boys? It's your gamer, Abe Clancy, here to say this might be the best run of Gungeon ever. We got Cormorant, we got the Rad. Are there any transformations we can't fit into this thing? Slap side of video game.
I've always wanted to try Robot Spice Night Shovel Rainbow Runs to Sour Lemonade. I've, I was, so I've been thinking about that on this run. Um, not Rainbow, but I've been thinking, what are the ways in which you can get unlimited spice? Oh, right. Night's Shovel, because every time it digs up, it can dig up spice. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that maybe we can find that at some point. That would be fun. Call it the most mid-run ever. Your clickbait voice is so good. Thanks, bro. God, we fire so fast, what the heck? Another teleport. Uh, we're not gonna teleport past. Well, no, mm, no, we're not. We're not gonna teleport past. We'll walk it. I want the seven spice. The most boring run of Gungeon ever. Well, that would be a little bit. You know, I don't know if that would drive the views necessarily that I would I would like it to. The thing is, like, here's the thing: you want to people who clickbait. You want to clickbait all of the one-offs that you make, right? You don't want to clickbait a 800 part long YouTube playlist, right? You just want to do it. You just want to have the playlist out there and exist. But if you do that, who's gonna who's gonna know that Abe Clancy plays Enter the Gungeon, right? So you gotta at least clickbait one of them on occasion to be like, hey, by the way, do you like watching people play the same game for a thousand hours? Look at this guy over here. He's on 2,000 hours. <laughs> yeah, I do play a lot of this, don't I? I do have a beam, right? Yes, I do. Well, on the bright side, it doesn't matter if we flawless, because it's not like we're gonna get any more HP out of this. Actually does matter. I need that HP. Oh, I should have just blanked. Paradox run was kind of whatever. It what? That's the thing. Like, how do you how do you clickbait title just a general a generic run? <laughs> Paradox run. We started with the mahogany, and I used it for like four floors. That's not a clickbait run. <laughs> There's nothing to clickbait. I'm out of ammo. I play another run of Enter the Gungeon. What happens? killing gun. I 
I don't really like using Frost Giant as a boss killing gun. weapon in the entire game. I use it for the whole run. <laughs> Click here to find out what happened. It's just me using the pilot starter pistol for the whole run. It's a meme clickbait video. I mean, that would actually probably work. <laughs> I don't think you can, I don't think you could get mad if I did that. You couldn't. You legally couldn't. Okay. Ammo for the hexagon. Buy the demon head. We're gonna gun much. Oh, I need to need to do this though. Hold on. Oh. No LJ yet. I should why did I not use the ticket? I'm sorry. I forgot the ticket. We do have seven spice, and we're gonna eat that in a second, but I wanna finish the floor first. We're gonna be getting rid of a couple of guns. Uh, Tangler is still really good with knockback, but so is the blooper. Tangler damage is pretty okay. We don't need the mailbox, and we certainly don't need the machine pistol now. So why don't we, uh, why don't we just do this? Starlight, welcome. One heart armor looks interesting. We, we should have enough HP. We have seven. Just don't get hit, forehead. Uh, and what was this? This was teleport. No, we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna speed eat. Okay. <laughs> wow, you got the crossbow. I mean, I did put in two bad quality guns. <laughs> Bladeer says, call it wood. You believe what gun carried me for four floors? I get it. You get better weapons by feeding it. So if you feed it brown weapons, you probably get brown results. If you feed it black weapons, you tend to get black results. So it's very much dependent on the input. This run makes that recent r lucky run feel even luckier. I mean, this run isn't really that lucky. We got spice. Everything else is just like, eh, we got some guns. See how much damage your starter does now? No, I don't want to summon LJ. I know how much damage my starter does. Enough, but not enough. The spiciest, hottest run ever. No, I, my spiciest, hottest run was one-shotting the boss with the starting pistol. I have done that before. It's a hundred percent something I've done before, and I've liked it. I've eaten so much spice, and I liked it. We are two-shotting jammed enemies, which is pretty good. This guy might get three shot. Four shot? Well, it's a lot. Hi, LJ. How you doing? Helps if I aim, too. Thank you. Look, we gotta use this at some point, right? Oh, 
LJ's the police trying to arrest you for illegal spice trafficking. The spice must flow. You can't use the term spice that is, that is uh, trademarked by the Dune Corporation. Frank Herbert's ancestors own that mark. Okay, hold on. Two-shotting them's okay. Just three poops. That's the whole room. The whole room is three poops. It's like a Rick and Morty episode. <laughs> this looks like the right direction to be going in. Oh, you jerk. I can't really be taking that much damage. I need the HP. I dodge roll directly into the bullet like an idiot. We're probably one away from getting another payout. So I'll be looking forward to that. Hey, we're killing enemies in one one shot from this, which is kind of nice. Expected, let's be honest. Okay, expected, let's be honest. What's the highest damage weapon that I have? Do you think we'll be able to one-shot the Lich at some point? If we're not one-shotting basic enemies with the M1, we're probably not gonna get there, but you never know. Like, how much damage does Cobalt Hammer do? I've gotten very strange high damage runs with Cobalt Hammer in the past, so maybe. Yoink! Let's take a second. <clears throat> Starlight says, sure makes the game look easy when you do so much damage, yeah. That's the good thing about having a lot of damage. Nor says, I'll be honest, I consider a run failed if Abe takes damage on it. That's the bar nowadays. Oh, come on. You can't put me on that high of a pedestal. You're just gonna make things awkward. By the way, you know, sometimes it's, uh, sometimes it's, uh, intentional damage, you know, sometimes I need to get my ammo back, so I'm gonna run into an enemy and then, you know, get my ammo back because I've got the weird, uh, holy grail thing that I never, never forget about. And I always remember I have it all the time. The Norse says, sorry, a sour lemonade says, to be fair, I also roll over pits while having the rat boots. That is just muscle memory at this point. I can't not do that. Oh, 
All right. We'll be able to get one more payout. After that, I'm probably not gonna worry about our lament anymore. But we'll see what we get. Thank you. Whoa. We are out of ammo. We're probably one or two away from another get. Oh, I can I can feel the spread. Can you see it? Our weapons are getting mighty inaccurate. Soon. Soon we will be at infinite damage and negative accuracy. In fact, we're already like pretty much there. Here's my starting pistol. It's pretty inaccurate. It's still pretty accurate though, you gotta admit. You miss the days when Gungeon presented challenge or is it now just a pleasant stress reliever? Uh, no, I do this entirely for the views. <laughs> Look, if I had had the choice in the matter, I, I would be playing some more Risk of Rain Returns probably. But then I would have a riot on my hands. Thank you. Uh, looks like we can maybe do one or two more. Let's see. I mean, I'll do them, but I don't think we're gonna get any more payouts, because I'm probably not gonna use Lament on the boss fights. It's just, it's too much work. Why did I not finish this path? I, I walked all the way through this and then just didn't get to the teleporter. Sour Lemonade says, I heard you once beat the damage cap with a beam weapon. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. I did it once, I think. I don't remember when. That's when you know your damage is good because beam weapons tick multiple times per second. That was a funny run, admittedly. Hey, chicken. I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of clearing the, the floor right now because why not? How much spice do you need to break the damage cap of the beam weapon? Uh, you need as, men as much as I had. Oh, that's bad damage to take, but also we did find a freaking gun muncher. Um, okay, pick this up. Pick this up. Okay, we got we got things to do. What are we gonna gun munch? We're gonna gun munch the crossbow. We're gonna gun munch. We're gonna gun munch science cannon. We don't need a beam weapon. We're gonna gun munch triple gun. I'm gonna leave. We're gonna think. 
We probably don't care about the glacier. Although it does help us to be, ah, a little bit more defensive. That's kind of what I'm worried about. And then also the explosions don't get scaled. Uh, we can dump the blooper. And we can dump demon head. You think sling goes over the damage cap? If we bounce it, maybe. I'll, I'll try, I will try. We don't need the bloop. Uh, and we don't need, we don't need Tangler. It doesn't have the range I'm looking for. I'd rather keep the membrane. Ah! <laughs> we have picked this up on like four of the last five runs and I love it. We got the Yari launcher. I'm still gonna try with the sling, but the, the Yari launcher will, uh, will kill him. Uh, he'll kill every phase. It's gonna kill every phase without needing an ammo refill. That's how good this is. Hey, we broke the damage cap. Ding, 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 ding. Tech guy, welcome. How's this game? Is it hard? Uh, Enter the Gungeon is a fantastic game. Is it hard? Well, I guess it does depend on who you ask. Where'd he go? I was just getting warmed up. The North says, why does he keep dragging you down? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? <laughs> well, there you go. There's your spice run. Over the past week, we have had clone, Cormoran, Duct tape flame hand charge shot. Spice. Uh we've done everything. What is there left to do? I've done I've done an entire playlist worth of gungeon things in in a week. Fun run though. I like having a good spice run. And for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.